Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Fred. And it's today from Legion of Men. Why women can't stand each other and destroy friendships for personal gains. Please like subscribe them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's child time. Welcome back, Tribe. We have one here saying women secretly hate each other. I haven't watched it, but sounds interesting. We kind of know this. Hi, guys. <clears throat> I think there's something we all notice but are not allowed to say. So let me go ahead and say it. Most women harbor a thinly veiled hatred for one another. Behind their all uh -huh. smiles persona, you'll often find a cold war and a silent rivalry among women in everything from the clothes they wear to the guy that they're able to snap. Because of competition, the competition between men for women is so st stressful for them because they're only going after the top tier of men. That's why they are like this. I think this is why movies like Mean Girls is so enduringly popular because in both its name and its plot line, it says out loud this politically incorrect truth about female nature with True. a spin of comedy. So like I often do, I'm taking a dive into the psychological and evolutionary biology to explain why this is. Here There's one fact from history that still presses on us today. Women are a lot less hierarchical than men are, yep. meaning women tend to see their group dynamics on a more equal level in both status and authority. Men, however, have always been defined by their hierarchies. From hunting thousands of years ago to running modern day corporations, the need for survival demands that men arrange themselves into a chain of command to get the job done. But where it gets interesting Shout outs to you, girl. I love it. Is that even women are more willing to accept the authority of a man over another woman. True. This is mm. perfectly reflected in a Gallup <laughs> survey back in 2014, which revealed that more than 39% of women outright say they prefer a male boss at work rather than a female one. And just speaking from a personal perspective, when I was working a job like a nine to five, I always preferred a male boss. These yeah. numbers. And I've heard the same anecdotes from all the women I've dated, talked to, whatever. Are they much prefer a man compared to a woman they have better leadership qualities they make decisions more they're more impartial they're more objective they're not catty they don't have ulterior motives with you they're all there's also something else Bo. they're nicer men are just nicer to women in general and let women get away with certain things and women bosses do not that's the other part of it too that i, I used to date a girl that was um a, a dental assistant and she hated working for her um, female doctors or uh, dentists, but she loved working with her male doctors because they're very straightforward, concise. They're the same every time. They just need to get the job done. Where the female bosses, yeah, they play favorites. You know, she, you know if you she's not if she's in a mood that day, guess what? You're gonna have a horrible day. This is how women bosses and just women's emotions really affect the workplace all about the results <laughs> dude you should hear all this stuff. like women bosses with women underling employees if you've ever been with a woman that you know has a woman boss <clears throat> supervisor manager or whatever they'll tell you all these yep. things like that they're incompetent that they're too emotional at their job and that they're catty you have to play this social game with them along with all the other women and gas them up and oh my god dude it's a nightmare and they say i just like working i have a male boss it's very simple do your job at this time this deadline this date this client do you have the results here's what you can do better all their critiques and performance reviews of you are completely impartial it's all by the numbers it's very logical not about how i felt in the office and like your energy in the group and like how it's feels as a together with a family and like, like imagine some offices with women like for us guys we go into the office we say hey what's up and we get our shit done right we don't even really talk much else but women you go into the office it's not just hey what's up hey how's your day how are you doing how was your weekend did you have a good time and all of this jazz that women love to talk about even other women don't enjoy these small conversations all the time because they're there to just work but you as the boss or whatever it is, wants to have all these conversations, wants to get to know all your employees, it gets a little awkward. I could, none of that shit. ...have only recently started to shift due to a lot of societal pressures in the Western world, mm -hmm. but they still remain a reality in most other societies. <laughs> Do you see how this creates two forms of competition? Women, with this more egalitarian view of themselves, yep. makes them less likely to accept the leadership from another woman. This is also why small attempts to one-up each other creates a friction that simmers into hidden jealousy and hatred inside. Have mm. you ever heard of what's sometimes called the Queen Bee Syndrome? Mm -hmm. Any woman who's worked in a female 
male-led environment can attest to this. The girl boss is often ironically the one belittling and excluding other women in the workplace, almost trying to guard her leadership position like a queen bee. A yep. woman that finds herself in a position of authority over other women isn't so eager to let those other women climb that same ladder and challenge her. Oh, wow, and as the gap between their status widen, the mask of empowered feminism drops and the hidden bitchy behavior <laughs> starts to strongly manifest in an effort to bring other women down. Mm -hmm. And how does this pan out? I remember Jordan Peterson once made a really, really great point about female antisocial behavior. Women take the route of innuendos, gossip, and reputation destruction as a primary channel for their anger and despise. Now, what's unique about this is it's often hidden in plain sight. Unlike men who have the threat of physical violence behind every level of conflict, mm -hmm. women that hate each other take the covert route, spreading rumors, sending up a bad reports, subtle insults, and social isolation. It's this brewing... There's even women that sabotage their own work because they know that their work affects their boss or affects other women in their group, and it might not affect them as much. Women do crazy shit. In toxic pot that Men keeps do simmering, sometimes ending in a rare but all-out catfight. Men, on the other hand, can hardly afford to be their own enemies. Men, whether it be on the front lines of war or the boardroom of a dying company, they would rather defer their authority and follow the lead of a more competent man if it's for the greater good. This and in true. the event a disagreement does happen between them, due to the very real threat of each side having the ability to completely destroy each other because both sets of men have an physical strength issues right. usually maintain a certain level of decency until their final moment this hard line doesn't exist to the same degree among women so when i say that women hate each other that's what i mean unlike men who can throw punches at each other but then laugh it out later female antisocial how many times have we seen that guys talking shit to each other beat each other up a moment five moments later they're having a beer together, laughing it off. <laughs> I was stupid, wasn't I? Yeah, you were stupid, but I was just as stupid for fucking punchy girl. And look at us, we both got black eyes. <laughs> I just drink it down. That's it. Behavior spills over in the atmosphere and seeps into every single fabric. From tones to gestures to choice of words, it goes unnoticed, but yet infects their behavior and interaction mm. very discreetly. And most often it stays in that state because this festering anger, jealousy, and bitter competitiveness never gets an opportunity to release its pressure. So with that being said, until the next video. I mm. Let's see what Bo has Very to well say. put. Curious on what the comments say. My wife uh, worked for women and had women work under her. She has no problem saying that she much prefers working for men or have men work under her. You know, and it's that famous saying that we all know by now. Someone said most men insult each other and don't mean it. Most women compliment each other and don't mean it. Yeah. When I was in a relationship, my ex would tell me how her friends hated her. Then once I got to know her personality, I could see why. One girlfriend <laughs> told me about how women gossip about each other behind their backs. I thought that she herself was critical of this. One day I found out she was complaining about me behind my back. I was very generous to her. That was enough. So I kicked her out of my life. She wanted my to come man. back, but I refused. It says it ain't no secret. And this one says this, I'm a girl's girl, but I've gotten to the point where I'm over having female friends. I'm over the jealousy, betrayal, slander, all of it. If you've been in a relationship, you know, it's kind of a weird touchy moment when you're meeting your girlfriend's friends. She's already on high alert and on like mate guarding behavior. She probably preps you for a couple of the friends. Yes, I have met a few of my girls that I've dated, their friends. And yes, they always try to prep me beforehand. And I'm just like, you don't think I know what to do? <laughs> already like watch out for her or if she's hot she's gonna be mine this one i don't really trust you know you start to see the looseness of the friendships in this entire friend group and how the other women are looking at you when you're interacting with them over a coffee or a dinner date or together at a little kickback a party and a little you know somebody's house everybody's having to get together and you're just seeing how fragile your woman's friend group is and how little they do trust each other and the way they compliment each other and the way they judge each other nonstop. And I've been with women that flat out say, I don't trust my girlfriends. I know they're always vying for one girlfriend took another woman's man and every woman is trying to take each other's man. And women do this thing where they naturally compete and compare one another directly, even they even when they call themselves best friends. Yeah. She'll look at, imagine a scenario, you go out to a kickback at a friend's house. Your woman is there with her best friend or three of her good friends and you're there with the guys, whatever, chilling in. Your woman's friend is looking at you, wondering how your woman got you. How is she? When you're a good man that women want, 
this is exactly what happens because women will come up to you and tell you these things. She's like, why are you with her? Why are you with? She's not that great looking. She's mean. She's all this. Women will come up to you and tell you these things. And they're her best friends her her friends or whatever it is saying these shits to you, whispering to you. She's so Misery lucky. Does he have any brothers? You know, when you hear that shit, does he have any brothers? Does he have siblings? Where did you find him? Dude, that's the most subtle tell of like, why yes. do you deserve him? I deserve him more than you. I'm better than you. Where? I'm not trying to brag, but I get that compliment pretty often when I meet their friends. Like, oh, where'd you get this guy? And I was like, either she's been, it's, it's two, two things. Either she's been dating just complete shit men all of her life. And this is the first decent guy she's seen. Or she likes the shit out of you. And she's like, well, how the fuck did this bitch get this decent guy? Those are the two usually things. Where did you find this guy? How did she find this guy? Is she better than me? They subconsciously do this. I've had my own girlfriend tell me this plenty of times. Yep. Girls that I've been casually on and off with all the time. That women will look at each other's significant others and go, I could take him. I could take him from her. I'm better than her. I could have him if I want. And if the guy is really good and seen as a catch, dude, the destruction begins. I'm going to take him. I deserve him. She doesn't. That's why when the girls get together and they're comparing their men, they're comparing their men and their status. Like who has the best man has the highest status in the group. Women place themselves in that loose hierarchy based on the status of their man. Whoever has That's the true. highest status, man, whoever's got the guy everyone wants is usually the woman that everyone wants to be in that group. And true. all women are vying for her position. If you're the woman in the group with the lowest man, nobody's angling for your man. Everybody, you're safe within the group. Nobody wants what you have. You're looked down upon as like, oh, lonely little Sarah there with her beta bot boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute as a couple. But Stacy comes over with the Chad. It's all of a sudden Chad's got all the attention from the girls. You ever notice that when you're in a relationship as a man and you're meeting the friends, they have so much sexual interest from you. All of a sudden, like talks of threesomes, overt interest. It's so awkward when that shit starts talking of threesomes. I enjoy sex. I don't want to fucking have sex with multiple women at once. It's tiring. I don't want to do all that work to please you guys. If you guys were all doing the work just to please me, sure, I would love it. But that's never the case. Never has been the case. I'm sure never will be the case. Just because women don't put that kind of work into sex. I don't, I've never just laid there for what, an hour straight and she just did all the work. Never, never. But the opposite, I can say happens pretty often. Just going into the kitchen to grab something and the friend shows up and is like, hey, how can I help you with something, Chad? Ugh. And like all getting extra touchy. Have a ring on your finger going out in public. All of a sudden, women are just far more interested. It's weird how when you have a woman, all women seem to be far more interested in you. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. But when you had no hoes, you had no woman, no wife, nothing. No one wanted to approach you the way they're approaching you now. All of a sudden, there's something to be gained, something to be taken. You have so Social proof. If a woman wants you, if you already have a woman with a ring on your finger or seen out with women, all of a sudden, women naturally look at you, look at your woman, and then look right back at you and go, <laughs> hmm, do I want to take this one or not? She's not better than me. Women innately do this. 100%. Ask your girl to be brutally honest. You know, when you hear the truth, your head would explode. Holy <laughs> shit. I've had two women bosses who confess to me they much prefer supervising men than women. Yeah, and this stuff is, it is taboo to talk about. We want to paint the picture that the sisterhood is this like unbreakable thing and the yeah. bond that they share is super deep and it couldn't be anything but. It's gaslighting. It's the most brittle thing in the world. And it goes completely out the window when you introduce a man that everyone wants. And I had a, a last thought in my head. You remember that show like Survivor or whatever, the little yeah. show where people would get dropped off on islands? They once time did a, a gendered one too, where women were thrown on the island and then men were thrown on the island and the men quickly organized themselves in a hierarchy, just like she said, and started uh, divvying up tasks between one another. You go I'm going to try to react to that whole season. I found a channel that like uploaded bits and pieces of each of the episodes and seasons, but that like, infringing on copyright issues so i will try to do that go do this you go gather wood you go start this fire here you go get fish you build this shelter with me go get the leaves and we all started operating as men together in a group 
to get shit done. By the first night, within hours, men had already built a shelter. Fire got started and they were like chilling, eating berries and like whatever small critters they were catching. And the women were like complaining from the get go in the boat to get on the beach. Like, I don't want to get our clothes wet. And it took them forever to get on the beach. And then they were all just wet. A storm had rolled through. No fire started. No food. Crying. Contestants dropping out left and right. And then in record time, some women were like, okay, F this. And went into the men's encampment. Just gave up and went over to the men. And the men are over there. It's like the funniest highlight reel. The men like laughing. They got the Indiana Jones like conquering nature thing going on an adventure. And the women are just like doom music. Just absolutely losing their shit and failing shout out to Bo. him and i have a very different lifestyle or le- like lived a different life he was single throughout all of his 20s and still single now and i was married in my 20s and single now but look at where we are we're still talking about the same thing we're seeing the same issues with dating red pill is just the truth it has nothing to do with hating on anybody please subscribe down below i really appreciate that I'll catch you guys next time Ciao.